Hello everyone, it's me Senku. Welcome back to episode 3 of Dyson Sphere program. Last time we connected all this together to make magnets and copper ingots so we can automate production of the magnetic coils. Now next step we actually want to do these matrices are they called and for that we need a constant supply of magnetic coils and circuit boards. So next step is producing the circuit boards. We need for the circuit boards we need iron ingots and copper ingots. So probably best way to I don't know maybe connect them over here and take both of them to the next assembly so we need two assembly machines now two of them the least so then let's try to manage space a bit better going over here up to there yes that's good conveyor belt connected good then building this one you can now click the planet thumbnail button here. in the lower left corner of the screen planet press thumbnail the key to try the planet view mode wait m key planet view oh wow can in the i planet view mode you can hold down the middle mouse button drag rotate the angle of view and hold down the this right mouse is button really small. drag to roll the angle of view press n key to point to the front to the north pole okay nice M key done. So, connecting this one here. Then we need this one should be doing electronics, right? Can I? I need to see if I can over overlap them or something like this. Would be a good test to see how things work, right? Okay. It needs more electricity, so we should put one of these towers here. Then gonna do another conveyor belt here and connect them here and connect this one. So we can start building. And now we can actually move from here over to there get them out here <coughs> put our next assembly machine next to it and connect these bad boys together nice and we're building what now no wait I need them pure. Okay, so that was actually stupid. We can take these away and just go around, right? Over here and over here. So connecting this. And then we need more treadmills, conveyor belts. Probably best if we start produce them with an assembly machine. Otherwise it will take forever, man. Yes, good. Okay, connect this. Assembly machine. Lack of items and electricity needed. Down here, Do it, this looks like shit. Oh man, I can't even. Probably, I don't know if it's the best idea to. Oh, I don't have. 
I need energy, boys. Energy is needed. Um, see, was it? Yes. Okay, let's power ourselves up. Here we produce gears. We want gears. They should be coming from here. And then together, gears with the iron ingots, we can do our conveyor belts. Okay, let's first connect these together so we can start with producing those matrixes. Right? Nice. And it's working. One of the five basic sources codes that keep the central brain stimulating. Nice, I'm already feeling stimulated. Great. So, that's this. No foundation support. Ah, the ground sucks around here, I guess. So we need to connect this. How far can I do a connection? Too far. Okay, then I guess we need conveyor belts. Put that here. That over here. And best would be to have some things to store them so that they don't, they relentlessly produce it, right? Can I? Yes, it fits here. This goes direct in there, nice. So here we produce conveyor belts. Nice. Okay, that's good, it's good. We have 10. We can't have more than 10, it seems. Okay. Electromagnetic drive, as we said it last time. That's what we are gonna do. I need to collect them, okay. So... As not to waste any time... Should we? Probably should. No, better idea. Can should should I mix them? Should I mix them? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it right now. Too close. Ah. And don't. Then then let's not. You can put it around here. And make conveyor belts. Lack of item. Hmm. Produce. Produce them. Dude, they are bright. What? Look at them. Look at them being all brighty and mighty. Let's get more of these. And we have them. Yes, okay, this works. Nice. We have that covered. Probably, I should probably do a main bus later. But just for now, as we learn the game, let's just not be crazy about stuff like this. We can keep on producing them here. Should I? Yes. I want an assembly machine to produce shorters. We need steel and electronics. So we get electronics from here. Steel is over there. How to best connect them? Like honestly. So we're getting steel over here. How? Maybe I shouldn't have built so close together. Oh, I can do this. 
how far can they go? That's good, actually. That's actually good. So now... We can hook them up as well. And have no electricity here, right? Oh boy. Kinda knew it, but... Let's just put it there. And we have an assembly machine actually, we don't need to build a new one. That's that. Nope. And connect them. Connect them and let's build... No, not this, not this, no, 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 no. X. Buildings. Sorters. Nice. Probably should put them there. Yes, okay, so they can kind of be there together. Electricity, is it a problem or not? Let's check. Six, oh, wait, what? What are these jumps? Probably the, an energy source that is a bit more consistent. Statistics panel. Hmm. Production, 55.4 per minute. A bit less copper. Coal, pretty low. Copper ingots, looks nice. Yes, okay. Wait, one machine can do 39.2, okay. Probably should get more of these blue itemies. Yes, let's get it. And some more coal. And just let's put it right there. Right now. What is this? Hydrogen fuel rod. Okay, I probably need those water tanks or fluid con containers to produce hydrogen. Would make sense. Okay, we have a stop here. We have a stop. Not in steel. Oh, that's the problem. Okay. I see it. A little mismanagement there. I need to get rid of these. Repair the streets, the treadmill. And connect these. You have unlocked the power system component, the electric motor. It can accelerate the machines operating and increase the move speed of mecha in the initial stage. Sounds good. Okay, let's get let's get these researched. Some more matrixes, blue matrixes. And probably... What's next? What can I build now with these? Gears, iron ingots and... Magnetic coils. The fundamental power system component, it can accelerate machine operation. Yeah, sure, the... But I can't really use them right now, I guess. Nope. Matrix Lab Introduction. The Matrix Lab is a hub of connecting the real world and the center brain. It has two mods. Or the modes matrix and research the matrix mode is to produce matrixes x hello x the research mode is to consume super super matrixes to research technologies and can only research the technologies that require the supermass to unlock once selected 
the research mode, the matrix will be automatically research the currently ongoing technology and all matrix labs share the same research project. Okay, so probably... What is it doing there? Wow, these are bright, yellow, red, blue. God. So, what's next? Let's get some more of these. Probably should build a container here. So I can get more than just one. Why is it actually not allowing to connect this here? Okay. That's the way. And then connect it. Nice. Okay. We have now the fluids. This and this. Water pump. Water pumping facility. And a storage tank. This way we will have this. Okay. Let me see. Let's get the treadmills. Did I build them wrong? Wow. Okay. Let's get it back. Hello. Is this not working? The way I want it to? Probably. Okay. Let's see if that was the problem. Wait, what? That's the way I want it to be. Okay. Now connected moving now it's working okay that was the problem actually that actually was the problem okay um maybe we should do more electricity later or just work on Okay, need foundational support here and electricity. Okay, why not? T, we can research something else now. Power plant seems like a good idea now. Kinda don't like those wind, wind turbines everywhere. It feels kind of slow right now. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I should push more for something. It's kind of like I don't see the need to go the next step for something. Maybe I just need to research more. But I'm kind of missing um, the missing link of what I should do next in a way that is necessary. Like I can research this stuff and then just build it but i don't see the necessity right now so that it forces me to go a certain path like you can't advance further until you have x resource which you need to build y to even get it or something i felt like in factorio the the, the progress line was like kind of more what's the word not demanding pre pre-designed pre-designed Correct? I don't know. Correct me. Or tell me in the comments how you feel about this. If you've already played this or if you only have played Victoria. Whatever. Tell me. Tell me whatever you want. Thermal power. Nice. Okay, so. 
Did I get one gifted? I didn't. No, oh, I, I did get one. So let's see, what does it tell me? Facility that uses combustible materials such as coal as fuel to generate electric energy. Between the energy output and the calorific value of the consumed fuel energy efficiency. What? Okay. Power 2.16 megawatts. Efficiency 80%. What about these? 16 kilowatts. Wow, that's a difference. Okay, we can probably put it here. And a then... thermal power station. Such power facilities need to consume chemical energy fuels. Okay. If you want it to generate continuous and stable power, you need to ensure a sufficient fuel supply at all times. Angle too wide. Wait, what? Okay. Nothing goes as we wanted. Let's connect them. Why these things? And with this. Now it works and it's already connected. Visible by those lines, I guess. Yes, it is. I can already see that I'm consuming more iron ingots than I actually produce. These are pretty slow. I just need another smelter, I guess. And of course I build it in a way that I have no space left at all, like fucking moron. Probably need to re redo this. Yep. Okay, let's um, let's destroy this here. And this and this. Build our assembly. Where is it? Smelter. No assembly. Smelter. No smelter. Over here. We are going to use same line here. Nope, we are not. Storage, smelter here. We need more stone. Okay. Are there stone like Copper veins, it's this stones. There are like no big stone deposits, right? At least I haven't seen one yet. Coal veins, iron veins. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we don't need as much. Or as many. We'll see, I guess. This is pretty stupid, actually. Buildings so close to each other. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Ah, oh, here. Okay. Dude, it's so close to each other. Can I just... I need more space, dude. Let me fix this, let me fix this somehow. Probably need a space over here to... Item. Okay, I have them there. Now, smelters, we are going to put them in which in this way, right? This way, let some space between them. 
Is this enough? Should be enough. Okay. Destroy this. And these. Like that. Then we go up over here. We connect both of them. Looks good. Okay. And then this still looks like shit actually but if I can increase my output this way it's all fair to me okay this is this is crap let me change this Everything's really close to Still everything is really really close. Kinda don't like it. But if it works, it works, right? Can I increase my output with this? Should no. Not taking anything. Components. Iron. Motherfucking ingots. Okay, we got it. Now we just need to build these magnets down here and connect them. Lack of item. Ooh, dude. Do we have storage here? Yes, we have. Okay. It's probably going to be a challenge if you if you have a lot of stuff together you can't have sorters on top of each other like on the same line like in Victoria where you can have those arms that go over two lines or over two spaces grab over the one that's in front of it that only grabs one this is probably going to be a space challenge and you have to think about it a bit differently. And these are kind of slow. This is actually limiting me, I think. I don't need this right now, do I? It is slow. This is actually not as good as I thought it would be. Let's change this up and see if we can increase. Collide with other object. I'm just, it's, everything's just too close to each other like bro why even build like this probably should just can change everything right like that it's melting over here Doing this, doing this, doing this. Iron ingots. Still is pretty slow, I probably just need to, to upgrade them, right? Okay, let's research these plasma thingies. Get some more of these. It's actually halted right now because I can't produce enough uh, electronics. Can't produce enough electronics right now. Magnets seem good. Oh, water. We do have water, but we have no storage connected to it. 
no need foundation support like here, right? Question is how you do built I a storage tank. Them? It is more suitable for storing fluid than the storage. Each storage tank can only store one single type of fluid and can be built vertically. However, once it has been removed, all the stored fluid will be devastated. Okay. Good to know that you lose everything if you replace them. Yeah, yeah, should be. That's the way it should be. Like, I have enough to even build more smelters, right? So, let's go with it. Why not? Okay, we need another line here. Connecting to over there. We'll connect them. And we can increase our output once more. Okay. I guess that's it for episode 3. We, we kind of had some progress here, I guess. Yeah, we, we actually had. Those look so bad. Other the fact that I just clumped everything so close together. That I'm already having problems with space right at the beginning of the game, which is actually stupid, but well gonna take that with me for the next time. Gonna take that with me for the next time. Well if you have anything you wanna share with me, type it into the comments down below. If you have any questions, just ask me. And I guess thank you a lot for watching and I will see you in the next episode.